What's up guys? Amanda Nybert, registered dietitian here. Happy Friday. Coming to you to make magnesium bicarbonate. Yes. If you are new around here, you may not know how much I love magnesium. Let me tell you guys, magnesium is your missing mineral, okay? If you want to optimize oh, <laughs> your health, your wellness, and the way that you feel, get the most return on your investment, invest in magnesium, okay? And here's the challenge, is optimizing your magnesium stores, that's what we're looking for, saturating cell saturation. It's hard. It is not as easy as popping a pill um, and getting your levels up. But there are a couple of things that you can do, supplements that you can add to your daily lifestyle that can really help um, optimization become much easier. Why do you wanna optimize your magnesium levels? Well, magnesium is involved in over 300, some say 600 enzymatic processes in the body. Um, again, without optimal magnesium, you can't have good calcium stores. Without optimal magnesium, your vitamin D is gonna suffer. Um, people with magnesium deficiencies have incredible sugar cravings. People with magnesium deficiencies suffer from a lot of anxiety, depression, um, you know, everything, restless leg, migraines, headaches, inability to sleep, inability to lose weight. It does everything, all right? So it is by far the number one supplement that I encourage my lean clients to invest in. And one of the best ways to actually optimize your cell saturation of magnesium without all the negative GI side effects is to make magnesium bicarbonate. Now, I've been buying magnesium bicarbonate recommending a specific product to my clients for the past year. And, um, and it's not cheap, okay? You know, about a week's, two weeks supply is about, you know, 25 bucks. We're gonna make magnesium bicarbonate for pennies, okay? So if you're invested in optimizing your magnesium levels and you want a cheaper way to do it, I've got two options for you. One option is Anybody can do it. The other option, you do have to have a soda stream, um, but I that was my Christmas present this year is I asked for a soda stream um, so that I could make my own magnesium bicarbonate. Now there's a lot of different forms of magnesium out there. There are uh, magnesium citrate, magnesium oxide, magnesium glycinate, um, tons and tons out there, okay? Most of them have a very low bioavailability, meaning your body doesn't uptake a lot of it, which is why we use magnesium a lot for constipation, okay? Absolutely, my number one strategy to treat constipation is magnesium oxide. I've got a, a product that I recommend my clients. Magnesium citrate is another great product because um, only 1% of magnesium oxide is, is absorbed. So it creates a laxative effect with all the 99, the 99 other percent. Um, but if we're looking for cell saturation, okay, the lab we're looking at, it's not a serum magnesium, it's not that lab that your doctor always runs, that's always normal. If, you're, if your serum magnesium is low, you're probably gonna need to be in the hospital. It's, a, it's not good. Um, we want to look at your magnesium RBC, your magnesium red blood cell saturation. That gives an, us an idea of your available stores. It's one of my recommended yearly labs for people to look at. You can order it yourself. DM me. I've got a link. Cost about 40 bucks. It's worth the investment, um, but hopefully you can get your doctor to run it. And we want our levels to be 6, 6.57. That's optimal levels, all right? And guys, I've been working to optimize my levels. I'm still trying to get up to that six because magnesium has a really short half-life. So it has to be something that you're replenishing over and over and over and over. You don't get to optimization and then, you know, stop. Magnesium, we also call it the stress, the... Um, you know, we, we call it the stress, you know, mineral. We also call it the calming mineral 
because during times of extreme stress in our life, we're going to utilize a lot more of our magnesium stores. Um, so again, there are going to be periods in your life when you need more magnesium than others. So being consistent with, you know, staying on top of your magnesium, um, intake, your magnesium supplementation is just a great way, again, to optimize your levels and then figure out how to stay there. Um, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make magnesium bicarbonate. Okay. I'm going to start with the one that everyone can do because not everyone has a soda stream. And that is simply sparkling mineral water and milk of mag. Yes. Okay. So mineral water is loaded with bicarbonate. All right. Um, as it feeds through the springs, rolls through the rocks, that's one of the most abundant sub substances that you're going to find in mineral water is bicarbonate, all right? Now, magnesium, I mean, milk of mag is, my, um, is the only ingredient is magnesium hydroxide, okay? So you can get this over the counter. I just have a, a, a generic brand. When we put these two together and we create this science experiment, um, and it, you know, uh, reacts with the two react magnesium hydroxide with the bicarbonate in the, um, mineral water. It creates magnesium bicarbonate and magnesium bicarbonate is one of the most bioavailable forms of magnesium that we can consume. And it generally doesn't cause that laxative effect. Okay. That GI response. Because here's the challenge, sometimes optimizing your magnesium stores through oral mag is hard because you can't get past the GI response, you know? Um, that's another reason why I really love the transdermal soak. Um, that is, you know, another option that um, I encourage my clients to do, do the 30-day soak challenge. But I'll talk about that in just a second. So I'm going to grab, let me grab a glass real quick. I forgot to do that. Um, and let's figure out, so you want to start with a bottle of chilled, okay, so it needs to be chilled, um, sparkling mineral water. I've got some Perrier here. You can pretty much find this anywhere. And um, again, just your over-the-counter milk of mag. So I'm going to pour out just a little bit, just so I have enough room to add the um, magnesium to it. So we're going to use about three tablespoons or about 45 mLs of the magnesium hydroxide. All right, so I'm going to measure this out. So it's about three tablespoons, okay? Um, and we're going to slowly add this. All right, this is the tricky part. Slowly add this to the carbonated water. Super simple. Um, I drink this throughout the day, a couple of times throughout the day. I give it to my kids. They drink it. You want to cap it off kind of as quickly as you can because you want to preserve as much of the carbonation and you want to give it a shake, okay? All right, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to get really hard and tight um, as it starts to interact. I'm going to close it really tight. I'm going to put this in my refrigerator for about 30 60 minutes. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to give it another shake. All right. And then um, in about an hour or two, usually I try to do it at night and just let it sit overnight. I'll pull it out and it will be ready to consume. Okay. So this is one way that you can easily make um, magnesium bicarbonate. Now, every um, fourth of a cup, the way that you're going to use this, same with the, when I make it with the soda stream, Every fourth of a cup is going to have about 500 milligrams of highly bioavailable magnesium. Um, I encourage people start with, um, you know, about a fourth of a cup. You can shoot it on an empty stomach. Um, you know, so I keep mine in my refrigerator and I just, you know, shoot it. You can take it with food, either or, you know. Um, but I find that the absorption is a little bit better if you do it on an empty stomach. You can mix it with water and drink it throughout the day if you want to do it that way. So there's a lot of different ways that you can incorporate this into your body. But this will make about 16 servings, okay? Um, so really, it's just the cost of the, you know, mineral water, which is three, four bucks. 
And then this is going to last you, you'll be able to make, you know, I would say at least 10 um, bottles of this. So again, very inexpensive. We're talking about pennies to get a high quality, um, you know, magnesium supplement into your body. So option one, okay, really excited about that. Actually, one of my um, clients sent me that video. So if you're that client, thank you so much um, to show me how to make a, I call it maybe the poor man's magnesium bicarbonate because you don't need much. Okay, same thing with the soda stream, all right? I have filtered water here. Um, I filled this up, put it in my refrigerator. You want it to be chilled, okay? So we're just gonna open this up. Um, I have the Terra soda stream. That's just what my family got. And we're gonna do one, okay, so basically this is um, magnesium hydroxide, okay? In the powdered form. I just got it online. Um, again, this is gonna make me, I don't know how many servings it has, but it's got a lot in there. So I'm gonna be able to make a lot of different, um, you know, bottles of this to drink throughout the, the week, the day. Okay, so I'm just gonna take really just one heaping um, tablespoon, teaspoon, teaspoon, and I'll put the exact directions in the comments when I post this. Um, in my soda stream, and I'm gonna shake it up. Okay, now this is just plain water, all right? So there's no carbonation in it yet. Um, we'll seal that to use later. And then I am going to pump it. See how cloudy it is? It's really hard to see how cloudy it is in this green bottle, but this is what it's gonna look like before it reacts, okay? And this is what it's gonna look like for the first you know, a couple of hours as it's reacting. You, this is not good, okay? This is not, rea this is a lot of unreacted magnesium and bicarbonate, all right? We want this to be super clear when it's done, okay? So I'm just going to open this, put it in my soda stream here, and I'm gonna pump it a couple of times. Get that um, carbonation in there. I like to do it about four times. Maybe we'll just do one more for good measure. There we go. I'm gonna pull it off and I'm gonna very quickly put the cap on, okay? Because I want as much of that carbonation to stay. Give it a good shake. Again, your bottle gets really tight, okay? Lots of react reaction going on. I'm like the science guy over here. Um, lots of reaction going on. So give it a little shake. I mean, you don't have to like shake it, but you know, toss it around. And then these two are gonna go in my refrigerator, okay? And then I'll come back in about an hour, give it another toss, all right? And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. So. This is one that I made um, another time, and look at it, crystal clear, okay? Sometimes you'll see like little um, white flecks floating around, and that's normal. That's just a small amount of the powder that did not get, um, that did not react, all right? But for the most part, it should be crystal clear, okay? You'll also notice that the bottle is not quite as tight. All the carbonation should be gone, okay? So it should should be like flat, you know, flat water, all right? Now, it has a very much a, you know, kind of a magnesium taste to it, um, but I usually, honestly, you know, I get up in the morning, I grab my bottle, I take a couple of swigs, you know, before lunch, I take a couple of swigs, before dinner, I take a couple of swigs, but you wanna work up to that, okay? Remember, every fourth of a cup, um, you know, which is probably about two swigs, you know, um, is gonna give you 500 milligrams of magnesium bicarbonate. I typically find when people are working on replenishing their stores, when people are working on optimizing their magnesium, we need a lot. If you have high levels of anxiety, you know, and you're taking one swig a day, take two, take three, build yourself up, okay, slowly. Um, if you take too much, even of this product at once, it will create a, um, 
it will create a laxative effect, okay? So start sl slow, start with a fourth of a cup, um, either, you know, just shoot it um, once a day, do that for a week or two, then add another fourth of a cup at the later part of the day. Again, you can mix it with just some water if you want, that's fine to do too. But now you guys know how to make your own magnesium bicarb at home. Super simple, super easy. I cannot tell you how much positive feedback I get from clients who make this their sole priority. Number one, optimize your magnesium. What questions do you guys have? Yes, I feel like a ton of my son's friends are on here and they're making just super fun comments, but you know, that's how it goes. Yes. <laughs> um, is there, uh, Molly says, are there any macros? No, there are no macros. It's basically zero. It's just like drinking water. Um, let's see here. I know a lot of you are really excited to... Um, uh, get this recipe because I've been talking about making it myself for so long. Is there a daily limit to consume? I mean, I think, again, most people could benefit from a thousand milligrams of magnesium a day, but everybody's going to be different, you know, depending on what your levels are. If your levels are really low, you probably need a lot more. If you have a lot of chronic health conditions associated with magnesium deficiencies, you're probably going to need more. Um, so again, build yourself up. I would say no more than three times a day is sufficient. Any other questions before I jump off? All right, guys, if you're watching this on the replay um, and you have questions, please ask those in the comments below. Let me tell you, this information is so important to every single person on the planet. So I would love it if you would please take the time to share this video, share it to your stories, tag your friends and family so they can make their own magnesium bicarbonate and they can begin to feel their best. Um, someone's asking, would this help an 84 year old with dementia? Absolutely. Is it going to reverse dementia? No, but magnesium is beneficial to all ages for sure. Um, let's see here. If you take, let's see. If you take this, do you still need to do the magnesium soak? I Again, if you're struggling to optimize your levels, yes, I still soak. I'm using this. Still working to get my levels up above six right now. So a lot of times it takes multiple, um, you know, kind of modalities in order to do that. Um, be careful if you have heart issues. Well, with anything, yes. Um, but most people who are magnesium deficient, Small, you know, again, 500 milligrams of magnesium a day is going to be benefit everyone. And it's going to be good for your heart. Let's see. Mine gets lots of white hard stuff at the bottom. So that means, it, it, I don't know, TM, Burke, if you're making your own. Um, if you're making your own, then maybe um, your water's not chilled enough. Um, you're not putting enough carbonation in it or you're not capping it quickly enough. Um, if you're buying it, again, that was the issue with the one that I was buying. It had a lot of sediment, and that sediment is just inactive, okay? It's just part of, I think, mass producing it. You just get less of a quality. So that's a huge benefit I found in making my own is I get very little sediment in mine. Amanda, you're the best. Yay! Um, I may have missed it. What is magnesium good for? It's good for everything. Yeah, check the first part of this video and I talk all about that. Um, again, magnesium is everyone's missing mineral. We all need it um, and we kind of all need it in abundance. Yes, making my own water is very cool and I put it in real quick. Keep practicing. Um, you may wanna, I don't know if you're shaking it you know, those first couple of hours. So maybe every 30 minutes in those first two hours, pull it out, give it a little shimmy um, and see if it doesn't do that. Do you still drink Ultima? Absolutely. I still drink my Ultima every day, all day. Perfect. All right, guys, optimize your magnesium. I'm telling you, it will make you feel so much better. Talk to you soon. Share.